Hi everyone, I am back with movie review of Red, White and Royal Blue. Uh, the movie stars uh, Uma Thurman, um, Taylor Zakhar Perez, Nicholas Galitzine. Sorry, I butchered the names here. But uh, it's a movie about two men who are, one is royal, one is in politics across the Atlantic and how they meet. And it's a simple love story, you know, nothing new there in terms of what actual story is. The new part is that it's about two guys instead of a guy and a girl. Now, um, it's a cute movie. Uh, not gonna lie, it's decent. The story's written well. The actors do a good job of performing their roles. Uma Thurman really is nice. I was surprised to see her. I did not know she was in the movie. It was good. Uh, some surprise elements, uh, spoiler alert, I guess, <laughs> uh, are uh, some of the MSNBC um, news anchors like uh, Rachel Maddow and uh, Joe Reed were there. I was surprised to see them, but it was, it was a nice surprise. Um, but the movie itself honestly is okay it's not great but it's not bad either i do think it was a little bit lengthier than i would like it to be uh stephen fry's role was very small playing the king but uh, he did a good job of portraying his role um i i was not um i had i i had high expectations from the movie in terms of what it was going to be but for some reason, the way the movie has been written, it did land that well for me in terms of the punches of coming out story and what happens after that. It felt really vague in terms of what they were trying to portray. Um, and um, it felt a little high string on, the, in the, on those notes for me. Um, but but it's not a bad movie. It's, for me, it was a one-time watch. I don't think I would watch it again. Um, but I do know that uh, for the LGBTQ community, it's a huge step forward because it's a love story with uh, two guys and there's no huge tragic in the end. Spoiler alert again. Um, but... Uh, it's a fun watch. It's cute, but it is too long. I think it could have been edited much better because towards the end I started to feel a little kind of not as interested in the movie. Just wanted it to end now. And I think they could have done a better job with how they did the climax. Um, so I would say uh, if you have the time, go watch it. Uh, it's available on Amazon Prime, and uh, it's it's fun. It's it's a, the first half is better than the second half. I found, even though the second half has a bigger storyline and a bigger punchline in terms of what actually happens. Um, it's just that I I don't think it was written that well in the second half. Could have been done much better. So, um, if you have seen it, I would love to see what your thoughts are. I do know the gay community is doing really well, um, so I would love to see what you think. So please like, share, and subscribe my channel, and thank you so much for watching.